Okay, you may have noticed that we've gone to Rev 3 of our film holder. Um, we want to put out a video before anybody panics and let you know this has nothing to do with usability. This change is completely related to manufacturing, manufacturing ability or producibility. Before we get into the history of, of how we ended up with this change, let me give you a 60 second tutorial on injection molding for those of you that aren't uh, familiar with the process. The way these parts are made, and the way almost all plastic parts are made, in this case there's a two piece mold that's held together in a press. I believe this press is about an 80 ton uh, press holding things together. The plastic which starts out as small pellets is heated up until it melts and turns into a thick liquid. It is pumped in under high pressure into the bottom, in this case into the bottom of the mold. You can see the sprue marks on the bottom. And it fills up the mold. As soon as the mold is filled up and cools off just enough, the mold will open. And then ejector pins, and you'll notice these round marks. There's the ejector pins will pop the part out. Once it's clear, the mold closes, the process starts over again. Previous production run, we noticed that we were getting too much flash. Now, uh, flash is when the pressure is too high in the mold, and or the temperatures are not quite right, whatever, the plastic will ooze out between the mold halves, and you'll get a little, like a skin of plastic or a little flake of plastic sticking out from the part where you didn't want it. And you end up cleaning it off with a knife, or you clean it off with uh, sandpaper or something. But we asked the factory if they could reduce the flash on the next production run. And they said, sure, no problem. Uh, we'll just adjust the pressure and we'll adjust the temperature. We'll reduce the flash. Well, we get this next production run in, and we notice that some of the film holders, in fact, the vast majority of the film holders are warped. I don't know if you can see that one or not. This is warped in every dimension, and it's basically unusable. And some of them, if you tried to straighten them, they would just snap. In fact, this one is breaking, coming apart on the, the rails coming off from the main body. So anyway, we went back to the factory and said, what happened? They said, well, it's a pressure problem. The mold was originally designed for this film holder, Rev1. And you can see, you've got all this area in here, this cross-sectional area. And so you can pump the plastic in the bottom, and there's plenty of space for it to work its way up to the top and fill the mold. When we went to this design, we restricted that plastic flow and they were having problems controlling the pressure and getting it right. They, the factory came back and said, if you could add these two bars, then that would allow the plastic to flow up to the top of the mold and fill the mold better. You'll get a flatter part, it'll be stronger, and it'll be you know, smoother, everything will be wonderful. I said, okay, we'll try it. Let's, let's give it a shot. So, uh, no pun intended. And they um, made some samples for us. and. We looked at them, tested them, they, they seem to work, they work fine. Uh, no big surprise, there's really functionally no real difference between these two, uh, other than this one's really flat. Said, okay, go ahead, let's, let's convert it over. In the meantime, we're inspecting all the film tanks that we've got, inspecting all the film holders in those film tanks, and we found that the vast majority of them were warped. In fact, we've got about, about 2,000 film holders on their way to the recycling bin. Now we had enough film holders left over from the previous run that we were able to replace all those out um, with good film holders and keep the shipments going. We think we caught them all. If we didn't, you know, if we got a film holder, if you got a, a film tank with a warped film holder or one that cracked or something, uh, send us an email, get hold of us, and uh, we'll get that fixed, uh, get that figured out. In the meantime, starting early December, probably late this week, early December, in fact, we, we may have already shipped some of these out. Um, everything will be switching over to this new design uh, very shortly. And if for some reason you really, you really like the single bar design, let us know. We have a few of these left, we're almost out of them. Of course, these could be modified. You could snip these out if you wanted to. Um, frankly, I'm still, I've still been using the original uh, original design, though I think I'm going to convert over uh, to this one just to just to keep up uh, with everybody else. So uh, that's the film holder story. If you have questions or comments or suggestions, uh, send us an email. Get a hold of us. We'd love to hear from you.